Welcome to version 2 of Next.js Amazona. It's a coding course to build a fully functional e-commerce website like Amazon by Next.js 14. We use the latest feature of Next.js, including server components and actions, app router, and route handler to build this e-commerce website. Feel free to add this project to your portfolio or sell your products or services using this beautiful and fully functional e-commerce website. My name is Basir and I'll be your instructor in this course. I have 20 years of coding experience in international companies like RI Vision in Montreal. And now I'm a coding instructor with 50K students on YouTube. By the end of this course, you will learn high-tech technologies in web development including Next.js, App Router, Server Components Actions, and Route Handler, Tailwind, Daisy UI, and Chart.js for UI Framework, MongoDB and Mongo's ORM for Database, PayPal and Stripe API to connect your e-commerce website to the payment gateways, deploy your website on the cloud using Versal and MongoDB Atlas, Implement a strong authentication system using Auth.js and Google Auth. Upload images using Cloudinary, manage state using Zustan, and implement fetch data and caching using SWR. By having this technology, let's see what we're gonna build. Here is the website that we're gonna build together. In the header, we have brand, search bar, and nav bar. Also, there is a sidebar here to shop by department. On home screen, we have carousel like this. And down here, we have latest products. By clicking on a product, we will be redirected to the product details page. Here we have product image, product information, and action card to add the product to the cart. Here we are using server components and search parameters in the URL Let's say if I change the color to red, it will be appear in the search bar. So it's going to be indexed by search engines like Google. It is SEO friendly. Also, it works for the sizes too. As you see, we have color red and size medium. Down here, we have review section like this. And you can add as many review as you want. By clicking on add to cart, a toast appears here and you can proceed to check out or continue on shopping. By clicking on proceed to check out, we will be redirected to the shopping cart page. And what we have here is list of products in the cart. Let's add another product to the cart, change the variation, add it to the cart. And there we are. We can change the quantity and the subtotal will be updated automatically. By clicking on proceed to check out, we will be redirected to the login page and we can create a new account like this by clicking on register, entering information in the form and clicking on register button. Then we will be redirected to sign in page to sign in with the registered account. After sign in, we get back to the checkout wizard. After sign in, we are on the shipping address form enter address, click on next, select payment method, click on next. And here we have preview of the order. By clicking on place order, an order will be created. And based on the payment method, we have options for payment. By clicking on PayPal, we will be redirected to the PayPal to finish the payment by clicking on complete purchase. There we are. We get back to the website, but this time the payment is done and the status has been updated. In the customer point of view, we have a menu for customer. It includes the profile of user. We can update username, email, and update the password. And we have order history to show list of previous orders for the user. One of the best feature of this website is search. You can search by product name, let's say shirt, 
and press enter, you will be redirected to the search page and you can search by departments, price and customer review. Also, you can sort products based on price, newest and rating. And there we are. You can clear the filter and search again by filters in the left side. Let's go to the admin dashboard and check the admin point of view of this e-commerce website. I just sign out and sign in with admin account. Then go to the menu and click on admin dashboard. There we are. We have a beautiful dashboard here. It has statistic section, sales report using beautiful charts. Let's review the features of admin part. We have orders. Here we have list of all orders. Let's say for this one, we just created right now. I can change the status of this order to delivered. By clicking mark as delivered, the status will be updated. The next menu in admin dashboard is managing products. Here we have list of all products. I can create a new one or I can edit the previous product in the list. Let's click on edit. We can change the values, change the upload a new image, change the price, content stock and other features of product. Also, we can delete products by clicking on delete button. Let's go for the last part of admin dashboard. It's users. You can edit or delete users and change their permission. Let's say for the last user, I click on edit and change this user permission to admin. There we are. Great. Let's get to code and implement this awesome project together.